Hey, this is Regimus Maximus again. Today we're going to take a look at the Weijing MPP-10. Stay tuned. Regimus Maximus Alright, here we go. The Weijing MPP-10. In other words, knockoff version of Masterpiece Optimus Prime. If you take a look at the box, it has real nice artwork. It's like a matte finish on the background and everything. The artwork really sticks out like that. I mean, I give props to them because it looks amazing. Um, let's turn the box around to the side. Nothing special there. And on the back, you have a big part. You got, got a big picture of Optimus Prime right there in his robot mode and you got some instructions or something in Japanese I can say instructions but either or this is the back of the box don't think there's anything on the side but MPP 10 like I said props goes out to Weijing for an amazing looking box I mean this is amazing packaging awesome you guys did an amazing job so, without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. The box opens up from the side. So, we open it up. Lift this down. And so it's packaged. Instructions. Let's open it up. Ready? There we go. Oops. Okay, that's all. Okay, I'm gonna need another hand, so I'll be right back. All right, I have him out the box, and as you can see, he comes with an instruction manual. He's got his little axe right here. Matrix leadership, his gun, and we also have Spike. I really like Spike. The only thing with Spike is, I think Spike is bow-legged, because I can't get Spike to stand up on his own, so. But I do like having a Spike. In the Transformer series, Spike was Optimus Prime's number one sidekick at the time, him and Bumblebee. And they, I mean, with Fortress Maximus, you got a Spike. But the thing is, they actually never came out with an actual human Spike figure beyond that. And that's something that I feel was probably needed. Even though this one's bow-legged, I'm still happy to have it. So, take a good side view of him. Once again, Spike. All right, his hands do open up. I know there's supposed to be another, an upgrade kit for the hands and the head and everything else, but for right now, we're just taking a look at this. I mean, the hand doesn't seem too bad to me. I mean, it's like these three right here all together for some reason. Um, does this move? Okay, yeah. These move. Um, it's kind of tilting forward a little bit. Uh, good little ratchet joints. His head, okay, I can't get his head to move backwards or forwards. It can move up and down, apparently. His arms. Elbows. Hands, once again. We'll lay him down. Not bad. 
not bad at all. His legs can move side to side. His bottom joints, his knees, his feet can also. So that works out real good with posing. So there we go. Right here we got him posed. I mean, as you can see, it's a nice little pose. I ain't gonna lie. I had to work with him a little bit to get him at pose. But just like anything, I mean, some things you can do, some things you can't do. And his hands. His hands have these little pegs in them, little peg slots that you can um, slide his gun into. So, I thought that was pretty good. But, uh, it's a real good looking Optimus Prime. One note. I was able to turn his head, so his head does turn. I mean, just like anything, though. I mean, especially when you first get a toy. I mean, you're kind of afraid to do certain things because you don't want to break them, and I didn't want to break him. So, all right, right here we have him with his axe in his hand. Axe just attaches right onto his hand, so it's really not bad. It's from the some of his classic moments in the TV series while they were battling on the dam. I think he might have had like a the axe or the I think Megatron had a mace, maybe. Either or, I remember. It. So, let's go ahead and get him transformed. Right here, we're taking a quick look at the instruction manual. I mean, the instruction manual, once again, I mean, it's got a real good, nice matte finish to it. I mean, there's a picture of the Lord MPP-10 Commander. A very nice shot, very good artwork. I see you don't get the trailer with it though, even though they have it on there. That'll be in a later review. Like I said, I don't know why they have anything for the trailer in here when you don't get the trailer. This is what you could have. Or can have when you buy it. It's a pretty good instruction manual. I mean, I think they get real good details. Shots from the movie, the Transformers movie, the original movie. It's really making me want to buy the trailer and a picture of him on the back. Pretty nice. Now here we go. We have MPP-10 all transformed. And this... It's nice. You open up the cab and you got bow legged spike sitting in the cockpit on the driver's seat. Looking very nice. Close the door. Said very nice. I am going to see about getting the trailer for this. Also, you see you get like this little part right here. The logo didn't come with this because this is, they label it as not a transformer, but that comes out. So, 
I've got that and I will see about trying to put that in. What I'll also do is we'll have a comparison with this vehicle mode against the original Masterpiece Optimus Prime. And we are back. All right, this time what I'm going to do is I want to show you side by side in vehicle mode. MP10 versus the original, my dusty masterpiece Optimus Prime. I mean, with all the dust on him and everything, he kind of looks like uh, Optimus Prime did in, um, what was it, Age of Extinction? Yeah. It's kind of dusty. But either or. I mean, this is the first time that they made a masterpiece. And, I mean, he really wasn't bad and everything. I mean, they actually got, like, a lot of the ideas for this one from this one. I mean, you ain't got, like, this whole little situation right there. I mean, it's all red right there. They made some improvements. So, I mean, I don't know. Both of these figures are good figures. So, I mean... There's a lot more improvement made on this one. The big Autobot logo. I need to put the logo on this, so give me a second and we'll make that happen. Alright, now as you can see, this right here, the logo, comes off. So let's go ahead and take that off. And I had to order... This little nice little logo right there. In all reality, it took me a while to find this. I ordered it and I got it and I lost it. So this is probably like a month later. But either or, here we go. We're going to go ahead and put it in. So, there we go. It finally has this Autobot logo, and I'm so happy. Here's the other little peg that goes in there. I mean, you can keep it, throw it away, whatever, don't matter. Either or, I'm very happy with this. And bow-legged spike. This is the original Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Like I said, side by side, I mean, you can see. I mean, it's more smoother, it's a little bit more chunkier. It's a little edge hanging off right there. Let's get this little button right here, too, so. But there they are. If I was you, I'd get both of them. I like both of them. But hey, most of you probably already have this one. If you ain't got this one, get this one. This is Regimus Maximus signing out. Thanks again. Bye.